Hey guys, in this video we will discuss how to create fields, record, pages, components and how to register that component on a folder. Let's start with opening the application designer for it. Go to people tools 8.54 application designer p1 use your password okay most of you must be familiar with the uh, application designer application designer is a tool which is used for looking at the existing people codes or create anything new in a people soft for example here we are going to create a component and register it so let's start creating by two new fields employee id and employee name new select field okay now for employee ID I will select number and eight digit employee ID put the label label is what that will be displayed with your field short name say amp ID now save it development practice I put Z underscore in front of anything with that I customize do F7 to include it in into the project create an, another field 40 characters field employee name amp name save it ok do F7 both the fields can be shown in your project here now create a record the record uh, drag both the fields here so basically we are adding these fields in the record click on employee ID select it as a key and also as a search key so in your component you will see this field as search key save it give a name and detail one okay okay now this record is saved do f7 to enter it in your project now you have built this record so click this button build current select create tables make sure that execute and build script are selected here click build do yes yes this record is built you can see one records processed zero errors zero warnings so i have here a sql developer open where i will check whether this field now exists in the database okay you can see that there is a empty table created with both the fields here let's get back to application designer next step is to create a page so select new create a page okay it's a blank page right now in front of us so we'll drag this record here and both the fields will be added save this page okay do f7 page is added in your project close the page now create a new component Add this page in your component just drag and drop right click on component and see component properties go to use and now we have to add search record here so enter your record name search record okay select it okay save this component okay do f7 our project is ready so save this project now our next task is to register this component on the portal so before doing this let's create a customized folder where we will put this component so I'm planning to put this component on a folder called XBRL inside that I will create another customized folder for creating a folder inside XBRL go to main menu people tools portal structure and content on this page you see uh, what all uh, folders we have on our main menu so go to general ledger click on general ledger click on xbrl create a new folder here okay we will put a name here product would be gl and owner id will be fgl 
folder security add permission list all pages click on save now go to see sometimes this folder won't uh, appear here in the menu that means you have to clear the cache go to history clear recent history today clear now go to localhost again login again and see if your folder is now visible okay your folder is visible z underscore test underscore emptt now our next task is to register the component in this folder so go to application designer open component and click this button that calls register component we will keep these three check buttons checked to a permission list now to identify what should be the menu name go back to xbrl open any page here so you see fin reporting is the menu name here let's select fin report fin reporting selected bar name would be report here click next now portal name employee so let's select this folder name and folder name appeared here node name has to be selected as ERP go to next permission list you have to select select all pages click next and then finish this will uh, register your component clear the cache again go to history clear recent history do it again for today login again okay the component is visible now so add a new value We'll add one employee here, add, add a name, save. It is saved now. Let's check it on SQL Developer. Run the query. Now we can see that data is entered in table. Complete video is able to explain that how to create two fields, then add them to record and then add that record into a page and then to component and how to register it on a customized folder. So when we enter the data through that page, uh, we are able to hit the database and enter values here. That's all in the video for now. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and stay connected.